All right, now the second part of what I want to tell you is uh, I posted a video from uh, Edge of Wonder, the two guys that I kind of like a lot. But look, I don't take their word for nothing. And I don't expect you to take my word for anything. I expect you to do your research just like I've done. I don't believe anybody about anything. I like what some people say and I dislike what other people say. I research it and I find out what's cool, what's not. But one of the things is they was talking about and I posted it. Now I've said this before in many videos and I'll say it again. There's nothing wrong with the understanding of the law of attraction when it comes to the true teaching of the secret. Now that thing got watered down right out of the gate. When it got popular, it was popular amongst the circle of people that could really hear it at the very beginning. So it had Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks in the first video, the first DVD that was released before Oprah Winfrey got her hands on it. Now then when Oprah Winfrey got her hands on it, she invited Esther onto a podcast that she was doing that wasn't on mainstream news and media. So she repurposed the video, the DVD, with uh, Rhonda Bondham, the one that wrote the book, The Secret. And she took it mainstream and it blew up, you know, 30 million books were sold. But it's a watered down, diluted, not so good version. Now I practice uh, the law of attraction on a daily basis by speaking life to my atoms and cells. And I'm here to tell you that it, it's not to make you wealthy. I've said this from the beginning. You can, you can have a windfall. You can have a blessing. You can have something that will change your life. But it's usually because you worked hard for it. It's usually because you took the right steps to do it. And it's usually because it was meant to be. And nothing could have stopped it anyway. But the one thing that when we focus on our thoughts, when it comes to our body, our health, and our mental ability to have peace in this world, that's the law of attraction. That's the truth. Now, Earl Nightingale, I'll post a link in the description box and show you a picture of who he is. He put out a DVD, a spoken word DVD in 19. 50 something, I don't know the exact date, but I'll post it if I know, know that. I just check the description box for his information. But uh, it was the first spoken word record that sold over a million copies. Yeah, and he sold it. But it, it, he, after he sold it, he gave it away. But uh, his understanding of what I, the way I understand the law of attraction and the secret that he's speaking of is what I give more credence to than uh, this watered down version of the secret that Oprah Winfrey and Hollywood got involved with. So that's why I posted uh, the Edge of Wonder guys so y'all could see a different understanding of how the secret has been incorporated, not necessarily for your good or any positive type of understanding, but there's people that are using it to grow wealth, and that's their business. They can do whatever they want to with it. I'm going to tell you, if you don't have your health, you ain't got nothing. But if you got your health, you got, th you got something that billionaires don't have. Some billionaires and multi-millionaires are the sickest people that you'll ever meet. So you want to be healthy. Above all things, you want to be healthy. And that's what you can do by speaking life to your body, your atoms, your cells, your DNA. You can speak health into existence, or you can speak death into your body. It's your call. All right, I'm gonna go. How long you had that car? Wow, it's gorgeous. What is it? 66 Chevrolet Super Sport. 66 Chevrolet Super Sport. 47,000 miles. 47,000. Ah, uh, is it the original paint? Yeah, it's all Okay.
I'm gonna go get a close up of it. Okay. Well, I wish you'd look at this. This is a beautiful car. Chevy Impala SS 1966 is what I was told. And uh, the lines are just gorgeous. The way the sun is bouncing off of it right now really shows the color. He says it's got 47 or 46,000 miles on it. And it was bought from an older couple, bought brand new. Boy, they must have took really good care of it and barely used it. But I think he said that was original paint. Well, it sure is gorgeous. All right, I gotta get on down that road.